Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back to the Talos Principle 2 here. Um, after fucking around in the murder pyramid for a bit, I think we're almost, like, nearly caught up to where we should be, which would have been the end of this section, the start of the next one, uh, by the start of tonight. But we've got a few things to do here. I just, um, let's see, actually. Two of the normal puzzles, we gotta go to the lab that Alcatraz has marked out for us very kindly, and get the two stars, um, which we know where both of them are. Uh, we haven't figured out the Sphinx puzzle yet, but we're probably pretty knowledgeable on how to do the, um, the Pandora laser shooty one. Um, so let's get going here. Oh, and it looks like we can start off with a little social media thing. What do we got? A matter of taste. Um, Franklin is talking about something about literal taste buds it seems like incredible technology is something we could do with the resources and energy you ready for taste buds how are we gonna taste food without taste buds right uh-huh <clears throat> new experiences and shit which is good deal i i can agree with that like tasting shit is great it's super fun that's why food is so good right tastes good um, blah, 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 why change ourselves when we are what we were meant to be? You know, we're all upgraded, right? This isn't our original design. What's next? Start killing animals again for the pleasure of tasting them? Uh, not here in a no. <laughs> Cover the earth in fields like an answer's dish? Subjugate the natural world for our own greed? Oh my fucking god. Alright, Thecla, like, come on, settle down. Um, it's the point of an apple that can't be tasted. Improving human life is what matters. We should do it. I want to know what frogs taste like. Uh, no, gross. Don't, don't lick frogs. Unless you're talking about, like, frog legs or something. I don't, I've never had frog legs myself. I don't know if that's, uh, worth it. Um, enriching our conscious experience makes the universe more aware of its own splendor. Well, that's a high concept answer there. I don't disagree, but it's like, nah. That uh, seems like a waste of effort. Thecla's right, this will lead us down a bad path. Okay, well, fucking... <laughs> um, what's the point of an apple that can't be tasted besides looking pretty? Should be an apple. And what's so great about an apple is just being an apple. It's not for us to judge. Jeez, what a fucking downer Thecla is. Alright, jeez, sorry for speaking up on that one. Jeez, fuck. Hey, Omega Weapon, how you doing? Good to see you. Um, alright, so, I don't think we're in visual range of the Pandora thing anymore. We know there's a, I think it's on that corner over there, there's a little laser relay point thing that we need to be aware of. Um, and then we need to, let's take a look at the Sphinx thing too. Um, what do we have? What do we have here? We've got a bunch of squares, a bunch of squares, some filled, some outlined, and then two like little empty bits in a four by four grid. I don't know if I recognize that pattern just yet, but we'll see. We'll see what we can make of that maybe a little bit later in this section. Um, all right, I think we should be well on our way to, let's, I guess we can head over to number seven. Since we're following number order again. And maybe hit this uh, question mark on the way. It's probably another hand glowy bit. Uh, seven itself, I guess, is up there, right? So let's just walk past that here. Yep, it's another hand glowy bit. Whoop. Clean fade. <laughs> Thank you! I decided I was getting a, a little unkempt, so I did the... Did the needful of the haircut is, uh, last night, actually great. I find, it's, I find it's like really hard to sleep if my hair gets really kind of ungainly, so this has really helped out. Mm. Alright, let's let's uh, read about Chernyshevsky. The fabled 009. Um, uh, essays on humankind reaching adulthood. Hey, Game Over. How you doing there? Good to see you. I should know my relationship with nature has bedeviled us since the earliest days. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Animals were part of nature, we were not. Well, humans are also animals, so therefore we are part of nature. Checkmate. Um, of course, humans clearly are the products of nature. Our history intertwined with that of every other species. I mean, yeah, sure. Uh, everything that exists must, by definition, be natural. So this view, no matter how uncommon, how common, is deeply paradoxical. Okay. Wow. All right. Chernyshevsky has a lot to say here. And I don't really feel like reading all of that, so 
Uh, to resolve the paradox of nature, we must act as adults, accept our power, and act consciously and deliberately in shaping the world. We must become nature, and nature we must become human. So, okay, I'm with him for that first sentence, for sure. Like, fucking being responsible adults. It sucks sometimes, but ultimately that's what we should do. Um, then Athena's like, oh, this is the heart of the matter, lifting up the world rather than lowering ourselves. Yeah. But why do so many people so badly want to lower themselves? <laughs> Ain't that the question of the fucking century right there? Uh, do they want to, or is it simply a convenient pose to strike? I mean, Cornelius has got a point there as well, but a lot of people really are like keen on not being good people. Um, all right, upgrade. <clears throat> From Miranda to Athena, okay. Uh, upgraded the lab with my new designs. Synthesizing some of the pieces took longer. We still have some bugs when it comes to complex structures, but it worked. Now the labs are safer and prettier. Oh, okay. Well, my father, which I, I presume she means Cornelius, says they look too much like spaceships. I don't see it, do you? I don't know. I guess when we go into the lab in this area, we'll be like, all right, let's see if these look like spaceships. Oh, good. Trevor. Can't wait for the scintillating stuff that Trevor has to say here. Today, we were delighted to be visited by a bunch of protesters. Uh -huh. These voluntary extinction weirdos who think we're creating soulless monstrosities that will destroy the planet. Mm. They broke into the facility and started yelling at everyone. Uh -huh. Fun, 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 right? Yeah, then, very fun. Oh, then one of them lunged at Alex. Uh oh Big mistake. Do not Church come at Alex. Grabbed the guy and literally threw him across the road. <laughs> I mean, almost threw him all the way off the dam. Oof. After that, the rest of them had a change of heart. Hey, look at that. You this because mostly it is not like that. Violence but solves everything, huh? These people do exist. Yeah, they do. And somewhere in their shriveled little souls, <laughs> they think that they're doing the right thing. <laughs> they think they're being righteous. Now to me, what Alex is trying to do is an obvious good. Uh -huh. But that's not the same for everyone. You know? Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. That's correct. That is kind of funny, though. Kind of funny. I missed the title of this area, but that's all right. That's okay. We got boxes, we got lasers, and lots of lasers. Okay, let's see what we can do here. And we got more buttons and oh, a teleporter. All right, I would like, I would like that teleporter. Can I reach over the fence and grab this real quick? No, of course not. Um. We can't teleport to the thing whilst it's on the pedestal. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I imagine we can't jump over the fence with the thing in our possession, right? Let's try it. Nope. Oops, wrong button. No, can't just, like, do an, an Olympic high jump here and, and tuck our uh, robo legs up under our robo booty and get over that fence. That barely shoulder-high fence. Okay. Alright. Nothing doing there. Oh, I know. We can just grab it over the fence like this. Yeah, dummy. Which means we probably need both of these lasers so that we can do... Blip, blip. Flip. And then, uh, okay, that probably holds it open from the other side. I'm just gonna do this quickly. And do like, burnt, burnt, burnt. Oops. Yeah, sure. I guess that works too. Cause what does this hold open here? Just that one there. Okay. Uh, but I am gonna need the um. I am gonna need the teleporter, so I'm gonna do that first. Let's grab that and maybe put that uh, here. Um, and I don't suppose, no, I can't like whip that around the corner. Oh, I might not even need this open anymore, actually. And if that's the case, we've got an extra little thing we can use. So let me. Uh, Oh, whoops. Oh, shit. Um, I might have to reset this one, because that gate is now closed. Whoops! Yep, alright.
Got okay, remote interchange. There we go. There we go. There's the name of the thing. Okay, <clears throat> so got in my own way there. It's all right. Pretty pretty typical, honestly. Let's get both the laser things again and get this set up as such. As we can grab that and that, do that. Grab that and that, and then do that, and then do. Oh wait, actually, I want to move this over. Or or do I actually? Hold on a second. Because this opens the door over there. Hmm. Oh, but I can teleport through the grate, right? That's something we can do? Yeah, okay. Alright, then let me temporarily grab that one. Um, open it up from this side, I, I guess. And then... Oh, wait. I'm stupid. Alright, let's do this again. Let's do that. I'm gonna grab this one. The teleport thing there. Uh... Well, actually, no. I'm gonna put this here. And then I'm gonna move this thing down here, right? And then we can teleport out. And now that door's open, so then we can do that. Grab the thing. Warp out. Uh, grab the thing again, and then I just need the, the thing over there, right? So I need, I think, just the one box? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I just need the one box, so. Grab one of those, grab the thing, jump up, jump out, and there we are. Okay. All impressed? And Melville does not impress easily, so we're doing good, I think. Apparently, uh, they didn't see the, the restart that we had to do there. <laughs> but okay, that's just blue lasers, right? Um, I'm thinking... that mayhaps we can... redirect this laser outside to something. So let me do that, perhaps? Um... I'm gonna grab that, I'm gonna grab that, I'm gonna try- can I just pop that over? No, of course not. Um... So I kinda need this second box, don't I? But, uh, well... Let's see if I could sneak both the laser bits outside. But I don't know that I can do that. Well, I suppose what I can do is maybe just re-grab the... Come on. Grab the jammer here. There we go. Um, and then let's do... Let's do this. I, I'm probably doing setup for nothing, honestly, here. But I want to see if we can just... Yoink both laser things outside and then... Well, maybe not, though. I think I need this one. Let's grab the one and then see what we can do with this other one, right? Because where would we connect it up to? Oh, let's see. Um, is there something we can kind of eyeball here? Like a connector, a, a little laser relay thing, perhaps? That's within range? Maybe not. Maybe not, but I guess it wouldn't hurt to maybe make this available, sort of, as best we can, right? Over there. There. Now we've got sort of line of sight to a blue thing, just in case we need it. Not sure that we're gonna... So I think that, yeah, okay, the laser relay bit is over there, but that goes directly to the Pandora's box thing. The green receiver over there, so it needs to be green by the time we shove it into that relay point. Which means a combo bit, or just a normal ass green source, which would be interesting. And I know at number two, oh, all the way the fuck over there, we can get, I think, either red or blue out. But not both. So we'll see. We'll see what we can do. And we'll 
think about that on our way to number eight here. There's the gate. There's the golden gate over there, too. So, oh, oh, hey, Melville, sorry. See you there. Don't worry about me. Um, yeah, so then there's this here. And, oh, we've got an entire circle filled up there. I don't think that means shit yet, though. Oh, wait, how many are here? I've got four, eight, twelve, and then we've got an extra one lit up. We don't have... Hold on a second. I thought we only had the twelve stars from these, right? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, because we didn't get either of them here yet. Why is that lighting up an extra little bit, I wonder? Hmm. Very curious. Alright. Well, we got some more ghost messages here. Let's hear what they're talking about. No, no, Emma. Twice as fast now, okay. and I think I can increase matter output by 25% if I tweak the modulator a little. I'm so excited. Nice to meet you. So excited. Uh, Cornelius. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, Dad, this is science. <laughs> you have no idea how long I've been waiting for the right moment. Clearly, centuries, right? Oh my God. Even in the future, dad jokes are present, huh? Ugh. Cornelius, you ass. <laughs> well played, though. Honestly, well played. Um, Alright, so here's number eight. Uh, switcheroo. Okay. Well, we've got an teleporter over there. Buttons, boxes, a red source. Okay. Uh, an immovable fan. Does that, huh? Oh, button. Stand here. Let's see what we got here. Uh, okay, there's the red input there. I see. Hmm. So what is this? This controls this force field there, right? Okay. Got to be able to open that motherfucker, I think, in order to get to the teleporter from here, so we can get the laser bit over there. Because um, so we can't teleport through the force field, right? No, that is not allowed. Okay. laser bit high enough to get the red bit lit up. Oh, and there's a force field up there as well. Okay. Hmm. Ah, and then that's just the... Okay, I see. That blocks the, uh, the actual finish bit there. Okay. Hmm. How to get this thing... Oh, oh, I see. Okay. So we can float up just high enough to get the teleport going, right? And then we can open that up. And then grab this, yoink that. Um, and then we might actually be good here. Let's see, can I uh, target that from here? No, that would be silly. Um, I don't think I need that temporarily, so let's grab that. Can we target it now? No? What the hell? Alright. Well, I know what I can do. I can take the teleporter out of here. Right? Oops, I need the box. Uh, there. Put that out. Grab box. Stand on button. Teleport out. Okay. There we go. Now we're good. Uh, so that means then we can do this. And I'm gonna put this... Uh, yeah, I guess we can do that, and then see if we can, okay, we can jump up there, 
Uh, do I want to, though, is the big-ass question. Not yet. Not yet, I don't think. Um... I guess I can just connect it up like that, but that doesn't help me actually do the thing, though. So I wonder... Let's take that down for now. Let's put this on top. Can I then... Oh, yeah. I can just fucking teleport up there. Grab that. Grab that. Uh, jump across, right? Let's put this up here. And then we can kind of reverse course a little bit, right? I need to then grab this, teleport up, connect this up. Uh, nope, I'm gonna set that there so that I can take this, drop that down, pick this up without canceling shit. Uh, yeah. Um, oh wait. Maybe I did want to keep that up there. I think I wanted to keep the teleporter up there. So let's do this again. Do that. Pick that up without canceling. Yada yada. Take that. Jump back over there. Do that. And then we can do this. Now, does it stay like that? No, it doesn't. See, that was the unfortunate bit about it. We need to keep that elevated. Missing a piece. Need to keep that elevated so the uh, door stays open. Which means having something on the button. The only other part I have is the teleporter. That's intriguing. Because I can't elevate the laser without the box, right? It just kind of gets off to the side. Okay. Uh, hmm. That's interesting. Well, how in the world, then? Oh, oh, I think I know. Okay, I'm a, I'm a, I'm kind of a doofus. I need... Hmm, actually, wait. <laughs> uh... I'm not 100% sure how to do this now. I think I need the thing on top of the box but also the teleporter on the button. So I need to be holding it. Okay. Um, I don't think I, I'm not squaring this in my mind quite yet. So let's put this back up here. Let's take that off, keep that connected. Uh... Pick it up, uh, go back up, set that down, it's still connected, that's good, that's good, that's good. Um, then I need to take this, and jump back down, put that on, jump back across, there we go. And then put that back. Alright, never mind. Squared it, okay. Do more than usual. <laughs> no, this is the usual amount of doofishness. doofishness? Doofusishness? I don't know. Whatever. The normal amount thus far. The normal amount. Um, okay. That one's good to go. I'm actually kind of curious now if we can... Uh, can we yoink this from... Uh, can we target this from way the fuck back here? Oh, I heard a blip. I don't think we can, though. 
Because this would kind of be a good red source. Although I don't think we can put uh, red... We can't put lasers through like the thin bars, can we? I don't think we can. And I think the uh, laser relay thing was on the other side of that statue's head anyway, so maybe we can't do anything with it. Alright, well, we'll just put it back for now. We'll put it back for now. Um... It's... No, well, maybe not. I thought I heard a blip when I was hovering over something over there. And there's the... Okay, that's the Sphinx one over there, I think. There's no others, right? Can't, like, target this to a thing. Oh, wait! There's a thing up there. I think. That is hard to tell. Well, whatever it is, even if we target it, it's not a... It's not a laser bit. Okay, whatever. I'll put this back. We'll come back for it if we need it. Now this one's complete. But alright, that's all the normal puzzles, right? Yeah, one through eight. And then it's just the lab. I guess we're kind of in range of the lab, too? Oh yeah, it's right over there. Okay, yeah, it's just normal tower shit up there. I don't think that's a... Yeah, it sort of looks like a laser bit, but it's hard to say. Well, no matter. Okay, here's the lab that Alcatraz marked out for us, right? So we didn't even really have to look for it. Mm, well, this looks pretty. Oh, it's learning guitar, okay. Oh, and uh, Alcatraz is there waiting for us. Look at this place. It's beautiful. Man, where the fuck were you when I was solving puzzles? Shitter. That's how it lures you in, I think. You see all these beautiful things, <clears> and your imagination starts working overtime. I mean, yeah, that's how imagination and the works. Puzzles. Uh huh. The towers. Yeah. The mysterious apparitions. Yeah, I could take a pass on those. It all draws you further in, deeper. Into the trap. Okay, Alcatraz, are you gonna make a point here? What if that's or? the whole point of this place. It's a tarp. What if every time you have one of those visions, another little bit of you is corrupted, overwritten with the hubris? Oh, of this place. hubris. There's the keyword. Um, I'm wary of this place too, but my mind is my own. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Suggest oh, really? Because that's exactly what it sounded like, Alcatraz. I'm trying to say. Yeah, you better fucking think, I man. Disappointed in myself. What? That you weren't the one that fucking me. yeah. All right, that's what I thought. You need me to do my job, and I can't even use a terminal. If this is all really the work of the founder, I don't know. Maybe she lost her way, or maybe we're just not ready. Maybe. Who knows? But once we find Byron, I suggest we get the hell out of here and never come back. Yeah, well, yeah, good good chat, Alcatraz. Why don't you go have a sit-down or whatever. Whatever robots need. Because <clears throat> we're going to go in and shove our hand in this glowy thing. Apparently that's our job. Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay, lots of reading. Uh, from Thoya, dear founder, everything has gotten so much worse. We had to dismantle the cinema. Why, though? It was frivolous and pointless when we just, can just watch video files, but it was fun to go to them and watch the movies together. Like, ah, eh, well, I don't, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of movie theaters, honestly. When it is just easier to fucking watch something at home, you don't have to deal with the, the noise and the sticky floor, and you can have your own food and drink at any time, and yeah. I believe in your wisdom, but I believe we have to avoid hurting the planet, blah, 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 blah. I don't know if the mayor's doing what you would have wanted, and you left for a reason you can't think. I don't think we can go on this way. And a whole bunch of error comments. Okay. Kind of worthless. Tales Principle 2B. Strands on the universe. You made quite the catalog of horrors. Children dying in their mother's arms, cities perishing by the plague, and even animals living without peace or happiness. Well, you know, that's, that's life. Now, as you listen to this, you know I've just eaten a heavy dinner. Oh, boy. Because these things are ugly, 
must be confronted for us to reach the two. truth. You spoke of justice earlier, but are these things just? No, they aren't, apparently. And you must admit the universe itself is not just. If the gods exist, <laughs> pretty big postulation, uh, then they do not bend the world to their will. Rather, the universe proceeds as a machine following its rules. Justice and virtue are human inventions. Saying justice and virtue are therefore illusory and should be abandoned. No, not necessarily. The opposite, my friend, it is mankind alone that can impose these values upon the machine. Oh, I see. 34 is a footnote. Okay, what was that a footnote for? And you must admit the universe itself is not just if the gods exist. Okay, if the gods exist, footnote 34. It is unclear the strategy believed in gods or used them solely as metaphors. His work on the deities is no longer extant. Tantalizingly, Diogenes Lyrtius mentions that it caused a fist fight in the Lyceum. <laughs> That would have been something to see, huh? Uh, that is what made us human was that we search for meaning, but perhaps a better way of thinking about it is that we create meaning. Eh, maybe. The Noema. That's what Miranda called it, right? The Noema? Uh, trials, blah, 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 blah. Trials, ooh, we're getting up to the 46 hundos. Lake water for cooling. New primary site. Pattern underneath. Okay, well. And then power distribution. Helpfully marked with a red A to make sure that we read it, because it's not dangerous, right? Ah, shit. Whoa, jeez. That really set the controller on fire there. Our ancestors kept telling themselves that the brevity of their lives didn't matter. Uh-huh. They had so Those? little time to ever really think about anything. Yeah, also true. I've spent several human lifetimes studying Dark. this mystery, and only now am I beginning to see. The simulation was built on top of material reality, unable to escape its constraints. Uh -huh. In the same way, physics as we understand it, even quantum physics, is built on top of a deeper reality. A set of rules that define existence itself. There is a universal language of creation. Uh -oh. And I think we can learn it. Okay. I mean lofty ass goal right there but sure why not when you've got multiple human lifetimes of being a super advanced robot what were they doing here and how far did they get creating presumably i can't answer that but i think i'll fix the tetromino bridge machine, machine ring thing, thing. <laughs> i say i think because it's not in the schematic very technical melville thank you best. thank try you try it and see if it works all right, very good. Well, whilst we're here, uh, we've got some boxes. A few boxes, not many boxes. How many are in there, actually? Three, six, seven. One of them is decidedly smaller than the others. Got a little thing going on here. I've decoded another file from the data stream. Listen to this. Mother and father think of our discoveries as a language. A code. Okay. But I think they're wrong. All right. They're so caught up in the technical details of running the experiment and upgrading the machine that they're not paying attention to the patterns we're finding. Uh -huh. The symmetries, the harmonies, the melodies. Okay. The fundamental language of reality is a kind of music, and it's beautiful. Beauty is an inherent property of the cosmos. Ah, but beauty is in the I eye of the beholder. Looks at <laughs> All right, and oh, there's another little reader thingy up here. Okay. Oh, good, Thecla. Um, years have passed, and there's still nothing but silence. Have we sinned? Have we abandoned us for arrogance or greed? Yada yada. yada. Uh, Byron is the worst. Oh, I can agree with that. Byron is the worst. Um, uh, please know there's a remain faithful and respect the limits. Blah 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 blah. Next election rest, then you'll return. Yeah, okay, whatever. Um, trebuchet. Ah, just one letter off. Um, well, I was born in the early days in New Jerusalem. I never knew you well. It's not your fault. I became so focused on improving the dam that it didn't develop much in my social relationships, except perhaps with Melville. I mean, if you're going to choose. Um, doesn't mean I was unhappy. In fact, I was extremely content. I like to solve complex problems in peace and quiet. Okay, I'm with you. Now, the pleasure I used to get out of my work is faded. I may not need a lot of company, but I want my work to be meaningful, to contribute. It does not feel like that anymore. And when I suggest new projects, the mayor acts like I've committed a crime. 
Like, I should be ashamed. I do not like this. I do not care about blah, blah, blah. I do not want to get involved. I just want to be able to keep working on making things better. Hell yeah. I'm into that. Paying the price. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. Uh, most people condemn for advocating new ideas is long and depressing. Uh, you know, someone's utterly destroyed for suggesting doctors wash their hands. Oh, boy. Uh, Boltzmann ridiculed for suggesting the existence of atoms. Robert H. Goddard mocked for arguing that a rocket could reach the moon. And Razi attacked for questioning the existence of humors. I'm not sure I fully understand that in context. Barbara McClintock's discovery of transposition ignored for years. The list goes on and on. Yeah, I mean, that's human history, all right. Uh, we haven't even touched on what happens to those who suggest political rather than scientific improvements. Even when they succeed, they often still pay with their lives. Yes, that is true. Um, these days, the idea of progress frequently derided as yet another narrative, identified with the establishment by critics who curiously portray themselves as rebels. Uh -huh. Truth is that every step forward that humanity has ever taken has <coughs> enormous personal cost. I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's humanity. <laughs> It's even more important to stand up for the truth because so many others have already sacrificed themselves. Uh huh. Does, but what is the right way of doing it? Many died for the truth without accomplishing anything. Well, uh, you know, that's a very narrow view to take of it. Uh, maybe we just have to do what's right and trust the universe. Well, I don't know about that. Trust but verify at the very least, I guess. Um, okay. Okay. Um,. Oh, this is interesting. This is pointing out various points of something on this structure, whatever the structure happens to be. Did that auto, like, take a snapshot for us to, uh, to examine later, perhaps? Mm, oh, no, it did not. I imagine if it was super important, it would have done that for us. So, okay. That's fine. Hmm. Well, that doesn't get us closer to solving the, the Sphinx thing, though. That's the that's the big concern I have. I've been kind of keeping an eye out for grids of things, but nothing so far. Maybe we try to do the whole Pandora laser thing and then see what happens? Pretty. It's very pretty. Hmm. Okay, so we've got our red laser available over there. Long ways away, hey, Melville. Um, I'll refine where this one is. Okay, so there's that one pointing there. I think puzzle two. Oh, there's another. Uh, question mark, can we cross this, please? Go, oh, there we go. Um, let's see what this question mark's all about before we do anything else. Because there was another, there was another laser relay thing somewhere <clears throat> that we had found, right? Oh, don't tell me it's up there. Don't! Oh! <laughs> Probably is. All right, well, let's take a, a little tiny swim. I'm sure we're fine. We're fine. Oh. <laughs> oh, pops us back into the lab. Fucking boo. Oh, All right, so there's that one question mark, which is on top of some of the structures, right? Which I imagine is probably just another palm reading deal of off, right? Oh, hey, who's, uh... Oh, Alcatraz wants to talk again. What can I do for you? Hey, motherfucker. Um... Oh, I guess there's a lot. Uh, what did what did the mayor say? And foolish, which ah, uh, you know. <laughs> I don't see it quite the same way, but it's easy to understand why the mayor would think that. Uh, yeah, you know. It wasn't hard to convince him that we can't leave Byron behind, though. Well, I mean, I don't think that was ever part he of the may question. Agree was with it? Herman on a lot of issues, one K. I, I don't. But he's not a bad person. I don't think I know what he's sort of issues you're talking a about. Situation. Okay. I mean, do you think Byron is still, you know? 
not I hamburger so. time. He's always been annoyingly hard to get rid of. <laughs> hmm. Uh, you believe it's wrong for our ancestors to create us? Why do you ask? I fucking I don't know. Um, does he seem very opposed to technology, and we are technology? I don't know. I didn't get that vibe from Alcatraz really. Because of the risk we pose to the planet? I mean, yeah, true. I'm really just wondering. Just because I believe we don't need to expand and dominate everything doesn't mean I want us to go extinct. Yeah, right. There's some nuance to it. I know there are people who think that way, but if I care about other species going extinct, why wouldn't I care about this one? <laughs> Seems irrational to me. <laughs> Can't argue. Can't argue that. Uh, tell me about Cornelius. He was the third to be born. After Athena and Eustathius. Okay. He was an important Number figure three. in New Jerusalem's early history. Almost as important as Athena. <laughs> but after she vanished, he faded into the background. I don't think anyone suspected he knew where she was. Hey, dude just probably wanted to solve some problems or do a puzzle or two, you know? I can relate. What was he like? I didn't know him that well. But he was always very calm, very thoughtful. Mm hmm Everyone respected him. Okay. Uh, total left turn here, but do you like text adventures? I do. Although I prefer the term interactive <laughs> fiction. It's better in Ooh la la, what this interactive really fiction. Is. Storytelling. All right. The completely different underlying structure. Sure. As a category, it's more equivalent to poetry or the novel rather than, say, film. Okay, doesn't stop it from being a text adventure. Uh, cool. <laughs> Anything else? Yes, actually. Oh, what do you think about Miranda's terraforming? Oh, did we know she was terraforming? I guess we do now. It makes me wonder why people always think they know better than nature. Oh, yeah. is Eustathius like? He was in charge of planning New Alexandria. Okay. It was his mistake that led to the disaster. Oops. After that, he retired from public affairs and dedicated himself to his studies. I mean, yeah, when you take an L like that, I guess I understand. Um, do you blame him? <clears throat> yes. Whoa, whoa, really? Holy shit. Just straight up yes, he fucking sucks? All right. Damn, Alcatraz. Seems pretty harsh. Um, you ever think your beliefs are a response to what happened in New Alexandria? <laughs> you mean? I mean, I wouldn't put it that way. To imagine the better future Byron wanted because I'm too traumatized. What, dude? You're the one who told us we were corrupted earlier. Fuck you. But I'd like to think I'm a little more self-aware than that. Uh huh. Well, everybody likes to think that. Thanks. We'll get back to my puzzles, I guess. Keeping an eye on you, Alcatraz. Shitter. All right. Uh, where was the question mark thing? It was up there, yeah. Probably up top. How do we get up there? Can we get up there? Oh, no, 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 oh wait. Okay, no, there's a path over here. All right, very good. Let's switch the back on itself, okay. Um, oh yeah, all right. Oh, it's a little bit out of the way. Oh yeah, look at that old glowy hand bit. I noticed they've all been right-handed. Just that uh, whole eight to one or nine to one ratio per, uh, persisted into the robot future here. Um, Lifter's ear. Oh, okay. All right. One day, been kind of fifty-fifty on Lifter's ear stuff here. Pass by this island. Uh huh. It will seek to document facts and statistics and, to enumerate yeah. reasons for us not to look more closely. Uh huh. That is what we do now. We seek facts rather than truth. Because truth might frighten and unsettle the comfortable people who like to sit oh. in their conference rooms and debate which corners we should cut today. I see. These people like to imagine the chaos that could come one day. Uh -huh. Like a comforting fairy tale of distant darkness. Uh. But they do not see the chaos that is at our walls right now. Um. The chaos that also lives within us. 
a force that is both necessary and I don't know. Important. I I don't find imagining chaos to be comforting. Let's be honest. Quite the opposite, in fact. All right. Well, there's another uh, laser relay point up here. That might have been what I was targeting earlier. Uh, and it looks like we could have line of sight to it from number four. But then what? It's like we could get red up there. But then what do we do with it? Where could we go from there? I mean, the other option, I suppose, is then... You know, we climb up a little bit closer to it, I guess. Try to. Ah! There we go. Okay. So about right here. We've got a line of sight from a few different spots. Number four seems the most obvious. I guess in theory we could probably get there from number eight as well. What color was that? Red, right? But then what? Like where else? Where else can we get from there? My guess so far is that it's a source for... Um, yeah, we could get red from number four as well. It's a source for a combination that we will need before we shoot it off to... Uh, fuck, I don't know. The Sphinx doesn't need one. Uh, I guess we can put a red up there anyways, just to be sure. Well, we've got eyes on it. <laughs> well, we can try to trace it back. There was the other one I was thinking of, was the little thing under the dude there. Which I think points directly at the... the green bit for the Pandora's box thing, which is fine. Um, but for the time being, I would like to... Yeah, there. Where's the red source here? There. Okay. Perfect. Flip. 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 Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so we've got red. Fine, I guess. Hey, Melville. Um... Oh, but sorry. I didn't mean to get in your way. Um... Then what? That doesn't really have line of sight to anywhere else that might be helpful, does it? All the way the fuck over there. Is there another one up there? No, that's just a... Just a tower into nothing. Okay. Well, I guess with that in mind, let's go back to number two. Uh, wherever it happens to be. <clears throat> and put that blue out to the, the other one we had found last time. And maybe we can draw some connections from that. Well, let's look into five first, actually. Because now we've got... Uh, line of sight from number five. But I don't think this has any lasers in it, does it? No, it's just got a... jammer, so that's no good. Um, number two is that way. There's the... Okay, so here's ultimately the connection we need to make into it, right? We need to put green into that motherfucking thing. Um... Do we have line of sight to the red one we just put up from here? Where was that? That was all the way the fuck over there, wasn't it? Yeah, that's all the way the fuck over there. Uh, alright. Well, I guess technically we've got a line of sight to it. Alright. Hmm. So we've got red. We've got red, I mean, shooting out into there, right? 
<clears throat> I want to go to... Actually, I want to go this way to number two. Looks like another laser thing up there. Maybe not. It's not doing the whole rotatey thing. Which means it's not a thing that we need. Oh, and we've got... Okay, that's the one we just did, right? Oh, man, I just really just want to walk across to that. Why can't I do that? Make me go around. Uh, maybe we can take a quick dip here. There we go. Okay. Number, which one is this? Number four or something? This didn't have any lasers in it. Oh, oh no, this is number, um, this is number five. Where's the little marker thing? No, it's not number five. Whatever number that is. That's the one we shot red right out of. Um,. one of the hidden ones that we got the other laser from. But yeah, we want to be on our way over here anyways to number two. I think it was number two. Oh, maybe I was targeting the same one from before then. Uh, that's interesting. Oh no, this didn't have a laser to it. Huh. I thought it was number two. Maybe it was number one. I thought it was one of the, like, the super early ones. Maybe I just spied it from here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like to tell you, look around a general area. Uh, not, not yet. Not yet. I think we're still chasing down some active leads here. Um. Yeah, that's interesting. Line of sight from here. Here, wait, 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 wait. There's another. There's another one kind of over this way. Is that one of the hidden bits? No, that's number. Did I look at the wrong one? Did I think the wrong one was number two? Ugh, I'm an idiot. Okay, this one had both red and blue. Ah, I'll just grab this here. Uh, and I think that the same one that I was targeting earlier was the was the one I had uh, spied from here too. So that's kind of silly, or maybe not. Where the fuck was it? Oh yeah, yeah, all the way the fuck up there. So then now that's red, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Hmm. And then ultimately the one I want to get to is over there. So number looks like number two is probably not involved. Alternatively, I guess we'll shoot blue up to there, just in case. If we need to disconnect that later and make it blue, we'll be ready. Though I'm curious if that overwrites it or disconnected the thing. No, it's still right. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll leave this be. That would have to be way... Let's go up there. Oh, no! There's another one up there. Okay, never mind. Let's uh, put blue onto that one if we can. Or is that the same one? Am I stupid? <laughs> is that the same one? That is the same one, right? Because it's already got red on it. Ah! Okay, never mind. Never mind. I thought I was looking at one, a different one. Yeah, okay. That's the one with red. So I could put either red or blue onto it from number two. Okay, I did remember that. We've got red on it right now from number four. Um, we're liable to need this line of sight to... There's no lasers involved over there. We need it line of sight to the other laser relay bit that's hanging off to the underside of this other thing over here, right? So 
Let's kind of try to get eyes on that right now. Yeah, because there's the thing, there's the thing, there's the th th thingish right there. Okay. Um, but that's all the way the fuck over here. What in the world? Hmm. So there's another relay point I haven't seen yet. So yeah, that's all the way the fuck over here. that red one sort of in sight here, and make our way slowly over here. There's number four. That's what's feeding the red right now. I don't see any other obvious ones from here. Still got line of sight here. All right, then there was this fancy ass one over here. Got red. I don't think we've got. Oh, gross. Um, I don't think we've got. Oh, I can just barely see it from here. relay point from here though. Okay. Well, let's keep moving. Okay. Alright, that's probably for flavor over there. Bit of a structure up there. I think that might have been one of the hand printy dealies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, yeah, this is a very beautiful place. For sure, for sure. Because hell yeah, it like speaks like warm tropical beaches and shit. Clean ass water. Like fuck. This is this is great. Um, all right, let's climb over. Oh, good. Walking there, idiot. Um, let's kind of walk up here. Okay, we still have line of sight? We do. Way the fuck far away. I can't imagine they expect us to pull something from here. That one was red only. Oh, no, I thought I saw another laser thing there. That was just the crack in the walk in the rock. Hmm. Huh? Keep an eye on the underside of these things here since the other laser relay bit was hanging down under one, right? Number five did not have any lasers associated with it, right? Just a teleport, jammer. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, yeah, and there's that one there. So we need to target green onto that somehow. What could be in range of that? Something on this side, right? And it doesn't really have... I mean, unless I just need to get closer to it. It doesn't have any other kind of guiding lines away from it. Hmm, no, okay. That's very curious. 
It's like the only way we would be able to target it, unless they're trying to be cheeky and be like, hey, you can get it in this narrow ass space between his shoulder and his arm, and no, it doesn't even look like he can do that. So that's fine, I guess. Um, I guess what I'll do for now then is do the whole Tetris bridge thing, and well, I guess we can get up there, right? Let's go up there, <clears throat> see what we can see. Maybe it'll introduce another part that we're missing here. Oh, this was the, uh, the travel-y bit. Right, right. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, we'll leave that be for for now. And do this. I see. Looks like there's two endpoints here, but oh, I get, I see. We go over to that one first, probably. Okay. So now from here, we've still got access to red, but totally blocked there. Okay. Right? Because we can't eyeball it from here. Nope, 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 nope. If I... No, maybe I'll save that thought for a bit. Finish building this bridge. That is incorrect. There we go. Correct enough. <laughs> um, okay. There's no, like, real laser things going on here, right? So what do we have? Like, we... Wait, that looks a little... Okay, no, it's just slightly thicker because of our angle. I thought there was another laser relay point right about there. Nope, 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 nope. It, feel like, it feels like this entire half over here is uh, not useful for what we're trying to do. On account of not being able to hit the last relay point to shoot the green into the thing and, and get the star, wah, wah, wah. Um, so let's focus our efforts over on this side. Got fans and shit down there. No lasers. Um, number two can provide red and blue. Number four is presently providing red. Hmm. And I don't think any of the normal puzzles, or even the hidden ones, had a combo bit, right? So I'm not even 100% sure where we're supposed to get green from. I guess we can look at the lost bits one more time, just to see if I'm misremembering. Which is... Possible, borderline, certain. Uh, this isn't the one I was thinking. Oh, this is the back entrance to number four, I think, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's a big old no. Um, I wanted to go to the other hidden bit, though. It's crazy how good this game looks, though. Right? Yeah, it's very beautiful. Like, 100%. It's very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. I wish I could experience it at full ass fucking graphics and shit, but present hardware would not allow anything better than PowerPoint mode if I attempted to do so. <laughs> and even then, I would very much doubt it would even be like two or three frames per second, so yeah, we, we work with what we got. Okay, so I've got line of sight here.
theory I've got. No, no, because there's no laser bits here. What am I doing? What am I thinking? Line of sight, but nothing to do with it. Alright, so let's go to one of the hidden bits. I think we're getting a little far off the, uh... Oh, uh, hey, uh, y Yakut, yeah, hey. <clears throat> Listening to Miranda talk mm. about beauty made me think. Uh-huh. Okay, this might be super weird and kind of pretentious, but I, I honestly mean it. Okay, stop prefacing your beauty? shit and just say it, like, Yakut. What is beauty? does it exist? I don't know, it's in the is eye of the beholder. Minds, yes. Or is there some objective component? Something quantifiable? Uh, I always thought it was just perception. Uh-huh. If I understand her correctly... Miranda sees beauty as a property of the universe itself. How do you measure that which is inherently subjective? I don't know. Uh, beauty is an objective property that we can perceive. Beauty exists in the interaction between the self and the world. I don't know. Beauty exists solely in our minds? Uh, interaction between the self and the world. Interesting. Yeah, I thought so, so too. The more humans there are, uh -huh. the more we spread across the world. Uh huh. The more beauty there is. Uh, I, um, but then, I, um, doesn't it follow <laughs> that it's our duty as a species to grow? I um, to make the universe more beautiful. I I don't think beauty is necessarily an end in and of itself, though. Uh, imagine sentience spreading across the galaxy, and as it does, the cosmos coming alive with beauty. Uh, not no. <laughs> We must survive, yes, but not grow. I don't agree with that either. These are two bad choices, honestly. Um, I mean, I think we should grow. Like, growing is good. I think growing is good. Growing for the sake of growing, not quite so much. And growing purely for the sake of beauty, also not so much. Um, but I don't agree with just survival. So I guess I'm going to take less bad. Whatever, blah, 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 That's beauty. That's a really powerful image. Okay, I wasn't going for powerful image, beauty but that's fine. flowering in the universe as intelligence spreads. Thank you. Uh, I hope you're right. You're welcome, you coots. Wanted to ask you about something else. Um, I'm going to say the fundamental language of reality is a kind of music. Thoughts? I think that's one of the most beautiful things I've ever heard. Uh, okay. It's true. Right. I, you know, be happy to be proven wrong. What kind of music do you like? Okay, this may sound like a robot. Uh huh. Electronic. I love heavy metal. Oh, that's <laughs> the robotic kind. It's big. Uh, it's epic. It's full of emotion. Okay, yeah, I'm you into can it. Really get lost. Sure, in. sure, sure, sure. Actually, I named Bruce after Bruce Dickinson, the lead singer of Iron Maiden. Okay. They used to call him the Air Raid Siren, which is absolutely <laughs> my Bruce. <sounds> like. <laughs> All right, that's good. Good stuff. Thanks, to Coot. Oh boy, we have fun here. All right, where was I going? Going to one of the lost bits, right? See if there was a combo laser thing we could do. Not that I think it matters all the way the fuck over here, since we're not gonna have line of sight to anything, but worth a try. Oh hey, there's a beat up old VW bus. Really does look like that, doesn't it? All right, yeah, what is what is it technically? Oh, it's just a good generic ass van. Okay. All right, here was the hidden bit. I don't I don't know if this one had anything to do with lasers, did it? And definitely no combos. This is just fans and teleports. Yep, nope. Okay. Okie dokie. Uh, since we're over on this half of the area, right? Um, can we climb up this? No, can't uh, Skyrim horse that. Anything laser related in this one? I don't think so. Alright, number six. I think this is more teleports and shit. Yep. Okay. Well, based on the parts that they're giving us in the normal ass puzzles, then we're kind of limited as to where this could be. <clears throat> which is good. Which is good. It's directing us a little bit, right? Oh, 
shit. Uh, yeah, let's go inspect. Oh, whoops. It's just climbing me back up there. Alright, fine. Is there just another exit out of this way? No, huh? I mean, sort of. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so now we're getting back into range of what we can see. The Sphinx thing is there. Here's number five, which had no lasers associated with it. Cross back over to the half of the map we probably care about. got line of sight to the thing that we think we're going to need. Yeah, all the way to fuck over there. Okay. Um, this one had a laser to it. That was red only. Right? <clears throat> We've already got red. Really don't need an additional red. over to the other hidden bit, which was just red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And number four is presently feeding red, right? Yep. There wasn't a blue. There wasn't a random-ass blue in here, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah, because that's going all the way up there. I imagine I'm probably overcomplicating this. But I do want to check all these things out. So now we're getting real close line of sight. Um, do we technically have line of sight to that one yet? Probably not. Here's number three. This one had also nothing to do with lasers. I think. Just tunnel bits, teleports. Not even like something. Well, hold up a second. Um. Can we. Yoink this teleport out of here? Or is it gonna be like, no, you idiot, don't walk off a cliff with the teleport? I'll be like, you know what? Fuck you, I'm gonna do it anyways. Okay. Oh, oh no. Alright, no, fuck you idiot, don't walk off a cliff with a teleport. Alright, got it. <laughs> oh shit, where's this gonna put me back, though? Okay, we're all good. Um... Oh, that broke the red up there now, too. Shit. Ah. Well, alright. Did I ever revisit number one? I don't think I did, right? Just kind of skipped over it, thinking that was there was probably nothing to do. Where was it, anyways? It was all the way the fuck down there. Was there any... <clears throat> any lasers to it? I think that was teaching us about the teleports, right? So then I don't think there was any lasers. Um shit. Okay. seen anything even approaching a little laser combo we bet to to get the green rolling into there anyway so that 
seems unfortunate. And all right, let me just remember where this thing is so we can put a laser back to it eventually. Okay, it's kind of like up above between number two and number three. Okay. Um, let me go look at the Pandora thing, like, just on its own. Uh, what's over here? Because, maybe, just maybe, they gave us the combo bit thing right here. Eh? Eh? Ah, nuts. Okay. Like, where else would there be? Like, this is the only spot. Well, maybe not the only spot. Okay, number five is sort of line of sight to it. Like, this is the only one. And even then, that's, you know, it's not even line of sight, really. It's kind of very adjacent. And there's no windows leading out, right? No. Uh, things pointing outward. Okay. Ah, uh, alright, Omega Weapon. A uh, general area hint uh, would be okay at this point, I think. Please. Because I have this very distinct feeling. Puzzle 2. Alright. This very distinct feeling I've gone past it a number of times. And, uh, not seen something that perhaps, maybe not entirely obvious, but something that I should have noticed. Uh, but okay, puzzle two. You know what? That's all right, because that's both, that's both laser colors, right? Red and blue. Um, so we've got everything kind of in the gym jam right there for us. I don't, re I don't think there was a combo bit in here. Was was there? <laughs> was there? And I'm a I'm a doofus. Um. Okay. So yeah, the laser bit there. Um. Is this one we can sneak a teleport out of? Maybe not. Okay. All right. So we got red and blue. We've got red and blue. We've got line of sight to. Thing a ding, I thought. Uh, yes, up there. Um, hmm. Tunnel bit, which really doesn't mean anything, right? You know, I keep looking over at that thing, expecting it to be a, a laser bit over there, but it's not. It annoys me. Can't target whatever that's up there, because it's nothing. I'm gonna grab this tunnel bit. Or try to, I guess? Yeah, because I can go through these things, right? Okay. So that I can sneak this through here. What the hell is open up there? <clears throat> oh, that's the solution bit, right? Oh, right, because I can sneak the teleport through there. Ba -da -ba -do -ba -da -ba -do -ba -do All right, sneak that through. Now we've got very clear line of sight. Um, and I suppose we've got this here, yeah. Sure, we've got blue. Um, we do not have line of sight there, which is fine. So if we have blue and red from, what was that, number five now? Number four. That's fine. Right? OK. 
Okay. Well, let's, let's work with that. Work with that temporarily. Because there wasn't a combo bit around here, right? And there wasn't a sneaky little fucking green source around here, right? Okay. So we've got blue source. Let's head back to, I think it was number four. Because then we'll have access to blue and red. I think also line of sight to the, the green relay point that we wanted. So, let's start with that. So it was way up, uh... Okay, yeah, it was up there. That blue. And red here, right? But then what? But then what? Then what? Then what? Then what? Hmm. <clears throat> I mean, unless that thing... Unless that relay point directly turns it into green, that would be kind of stupid. So we haven't seen that happen before. Do we have even line of sight to it from here? I don't think so. <laughs> oh wait, no, it's over there. I think. Yeah, there it's way the fuck over there. Um Oh no, did I have eyeballs on it and I totally fucking just did not realize? Oh, that sounds like me. Alright, let me just try to scan a few of these because I just don't... I don't trust my render distance sometimes, like it's fucking just cutting shit out. Well, let's see, if I remember when I said that, that would have been back in, uh... Puzzle 7. Puzzle 7 or 8. <sighs> Which, um... Okay. That's blue up there, right? Let's, uh... Let's put red here. And let's go back to Puzzle 7. <laughs> I think it was one of the latter ones we did first tonight, right? Because I thought I had moused over something, and it did the little little connecting blip. And I'm like, what the fuck? And then nothing happened. Hmm. Alright, hold up a quick second. I'm gonna tab out and look at this. <laughs> I'm gonna tab out and look at and look at this and hope that I don't uh Get dumbass audio going on here. Okay, it's muted. That's good. Let's see what we got. Oh, shit. I see it. Okay. I looked right at the damn thing. I don't remember saying what is that, but okay, okay, okay. Let me go back to two. <laughs> Little bitch. I, I think I was right in sneaking that tunneler out of there. Ah, where was number two now? Shit. All the way back there. <clears throat> Didn't even notice that wall being different than the others. Should have. It stands out pretty well. But, uh, you know, did not register. Did not register is perhaps something to invest in, Mac, do you know? Uh, am I going the right way? Yeah, here. Okay, let me get the perspective on this, right? Yeah, look at that motherfucker right there. Who builds a wall like that? Um. 
pull this back out before we forget. And let me put this back up there. Okay. And we'll grab the tunneler and let's see what we can reveal here. Oh yeah, look at that motherfucker, huh? Look at that! It's a fucking green source! Ah. <laughs> Alright, we've got green! Up there! Okay, now, what has line of sight with a laser bit to both things? Thank you for the uh, nudge, though. I pre do appreciate that. Um, so where the fuck was this now? It's up there? And, uh... Actual relay bit is over there. Looks like it might be number four. Okay. But we would have to do... Man, can we even get... I guess we can just barely... Do this. We'd need to grab it from here, probably. And then we've got line of sight to... Where the fuck was it? Over that way, right? Uh... Alright, alright, alright. Where the was it now? From number two, right? It's showing on my compass, of course. Alright. I know we had line of sight over here-ish. Right? Yeah, all the way up there. Jeez, that is really... Wait, what? Oh, jeez. <laughs> wow. All right. Seems extremely precise. Probably not the exact area they wanted me to do that from, but whatever. Whatever the fuck. All right, please don't reset the thing. Thank you. <laughs> Just want to get over here to get the thing. Okay. Now, however... Huh? Oh, we already do that, believe me. What was the thing? What was the thing? What was the thing with the Sphinx thing here now? I don't even know what this 4x4 grid means. But it's missing two. So instead of 16, there's 14. Three, six of them are filled in. Eight of them are not. And usually the Sphinx ones were about flipping switches, right? But I haven't seen any switches, I don't think. Either, so that's curious. That's curious. about that whilst we have a wander. Um, I actually want to go back to the Sphinx thing itself. So what else, like, has a 14 count of something here? And or filled in or empty spaces. and or looks like a grid. Hmm. So it almost looks like it should be one of those uh, button pressy things from the previous area. Four by four grid of buttons or some shit, but I haven't seen anything like that.
Hmm. Could it be the boxes? The little puzzly bit boxes? There were more than seven of those. Or six of those, rather. The way they're laid out suggests that positioning is important. It's not Tetromino's, probably. So we can't divide 14 into 4 cleanly. No. Hmm. No, maybe not. Okay, let's go walk around a bit. Most of the like most of the structures are curved. They're curvy. Not blocky like the other ones were. We can't do anything more with the Tetris bridge because we've solved that, right? You can't take it back. Oh. Oh, no. Got some squares going on there. more aesthetic than anything else, though. This just leads over to the tower, so that's no good. Nothing in the sky, really, right? No cloud patterns. That would be something that I think Talus Principle would pull. The water, or the shape of the islands is like that. And I don't have, like, an overhead map. Like, I just want an overhead map of the place. Like, how hard is that to get? We're advanced robots in the future. Why don't we have, like, fucking satellite images and shit? I feel like it'd be more of a blow move. What, the shape of clouds and shit? Yeah, you're probably right, honestly. I wouldn't put it past Talus Principle to do that, but that is definitely a... Yeah, that is definitely a blow thing as well. God, my kingdom for an overhead map. Like... Come on. <laughs> Man, what probably wouldn't have anything to do with the... Pandora laser thing we just did. That would be silly. I don't think they would be that mean to intertwine them, right? You know what? They had switches on pedestals before. Okay. No switches here. And there's only, what, eight normal puzzles plus two hidden ones, so that's only ten. Stick to the switches angle. Like, where would this be indicating that they are? How do I interpret that? If the if the filled in ones are, or if all the squares are switch locations, the filled in ones are the ones that are on. The empty ones are the ones that are off. How would I interpret this into where these switches might be? I'm gonna go back to that lab. I feel like Alcatraz automatically putting the lab on our map, or on our compass, rather, might have something to do with it. So that means we didn't have to seek it out ourselves, right? Uh, you, could, you got anything more? No? Okay. Um, and it was... where the fuck was it? It was in kind of like the latter half of shit, as we were coming out of Puzzle 8, I think. 
I eyeballed it, right? So it's over there-ish. Yeah, there it is. It's on the compass now. Um, well, it was on the compass. Dumb? Oh, yeah, there. <laughs> right in front of it. Yes, in fact, I am dumb. Okay, uh... There wasn't any, like, grid of buttons down here, right? <laughs> I just totally fucking ignored. Sort of. Four by four ish, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's sort of very grid and buttons type thing, but that's too many. Some weird bronze reliefs going on here. There's cubes and shit floating in here. That's kind of what made me think of the lab. And then there's also this kind of indecipherable thing over here. You're like, hey, there's something of importance at these glowy bits. Maybe. Hard to tell. Yeah, there's no switches or buttons or whatever. Okay, maybe nothing in the lab then. Hmm. Or is there anything like underneath? No. Oh, that crate's kinda open, askew. No, nothing there. Hmm. No, okay. The lab's a bust. Cables going on here. What's up with that? Uh, nothing. Just flavor, flavor cables, or hoses, or whatever. deep can I go before it starts being like bzz, 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 bzz. about that deep okay there's, there's kind of like that square grid going on there but there's no real pattern to it to the travely bit, perhaps. No, well, maybe not. No, we're already over here. Let's take a walk around. Hey, Melville, can I borrow that scan? What are you scanning? Can I borrow that? <laughs> I don't know what you're doing with it. Um... I feel like this is a perspective thing. But I'm not sure of what, because none of these... None of these rock formations or the, the puzzle layouts or anything look to be enough of a grid shape to line up like that. That makes me think that's already bunk. Hmm. Something we already looked at over here. Can we even get over there? 
Oh, please, before we... Thank you. Oh, well, hey. Found ourselves a... Uh... Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, this is funny. I like that. I do like that. Uh, where is that aiming? Oh, it's over there. Alright, nothing. Nothing over there. Alright, well, that's fun. Um, oh, I'm gonna go... Yeah, alright. That did feel a bit too far out of the way to be anything relative to the the puzzle currently under solving process here, so. That was funny, though. That was very good. Okay, so, like, what in the world? Grid of squares. The most square-shaped thing here are these the little extra star puzzle pedestal things. But even that looks a little bit like not a thing. Uh, I can't imagine it would be right next to the thing either. Usually it's across most of the area to solve the Sphinx ones, is what I've noticed. Okay, and then there's the wall we did for the, the laser bit for Pandora, right? That's probably not it. Wouldn't be it for a second time, right? That would be silly. I guess there are a couple, like, sort of out-of-the-way things that we can technically walk on. Under some of these little Mesa jet outs, right? Uh, oh. What's this? Oh shit, nice. Another little ancient artifact thing. <clears throat> Sitting under the water like that. I'm, I imagine they'd be like, oh yeah, so about for fucking Amelia Earhart's plane or whatever. Uh, which, speaking of, they they think they've got a sonar picture of what they believe Amelia Earhart's plane was, which is pretty cool. Pretty fucking cool. Um, has an ability to fly, blah blah blah. It's to commit war crimes. <laughs> oh boy, they've got humanity's number. Yeah, because there's like this raised bit over here, right? Okay, there's kind of this like little sandbarish bit over here. Can we cross this all the way over here? Oh, I guess we can. Okay. Oh, and if we could climb up on top of the little wings, maybe. Okay. Alright, well, is it shallow enough that we can do this? Oh. Oh, no, that's definitely going to be a blah, 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 thing, probably. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. I feel like we could robo-walk over there. Maybe not this side. Maybe the other side. Oh, that's not shallow at all over there. All right, let's try this side. Eh? Oh, no. I think they don't want me to do that. Oh, come on, we're so close. Eh. No, if I do that, it's gonna zip me out for sure. Mm. Oh, what the? I'm... Uh... Ex excuse me. <laughs> Why do we have humans dancing here? Excuse me, ghost humans.
we complete the seven shape here. Alright. What does it mean, though? Oh yeah, I mean, this could be very, very well be like a dev team thing, right? That would be fun. That would be very fun if that if this was like the kind of the the dev insert, you know? That's interesting. Funny as hell. Uh, no closer to solving the the Sphinx puzzle, but funny. I mean, that's a good thought for sure. Oh no, they disappeared. Oh no, they're still here. Um, it's, it's a good thought. For sure, for sure, for sure. Hmm. Would explain a bunch of random ghost humans in this world of advanced robots. This future human robot things. Okay, well damn. This would have been a good place for something more substantial too. Recognizing the ability to walk across there. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's let's go with that for now and see if there are any other accessible areas over the shallows, right? Um I think we might have checked out massive stone statue thing already, right? Mostly too deep to traverse. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. I had to jump off the bridge so I had enough lead time to get over there. Eh. Please, before. Alright, there we go. Explore a whole bunch beyond this. I mean, besides the hand insert thing, right? Just kind of went straight up to seven and then proceeded. There's the gate. Sort of investigated this before. Now, does this light up even before we deposit the stars? It seems to, yeah. Okay. That's very curious. We can kind of sneak a peek through the crack a little bit there. We line it up just right. I see a fan. I see a teleport. Oh, I'd be so rad if we could just sneak a teleport through the crack of the door. Come on, dumb hitbox. No, we can't. That would be fun, though. Oh, looks like another little ancient thing. A little arcade machine. <laughs> oh. Does it say which one it is? Uh. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Super Serious Sam 9. That's a fucking. That's a fucking Crow Team thing. Nice job. Nice job, folks. Fucking excellent. Oh, can I can I eyeball the the teleport from here? We're, we're kind of sort of at an elevation, aren't we? I can just barely make out the outline of it. Uh can I get on top of this rock? <laughs> Cause I'm curious. I'm very curious now. Um, I don't think there's a path up there. That would be a pretty obvious one, I, I would think. If we could just kind of climb up top and then see the teleport and be like, yeah, all right, yoink. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay, all right, okay, no, no. Oh, no, now we're back here. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I don't think that's any higher up, is it? And losing line of sight. All right, well, it's no bearing on the Sphinx puzzle, of course, but it was fun to try. 
Hmm. Okay. Well, let's get up a little higher here first. The Sphinx one has not meant interacting with the puzzles, the main puzzles, rather. Um, typically, that's been the domain of the Pandora one, which we just did. Sphinx one has generally been like the area outside. The areas outside, right? Whether that be switches or whatever the fuck else. Okay. And a little. Ah. Uh, I'm thinking this might be a little thing if we could wiggle our way out here, right? Eh. Ah. <laughs> alright, alright. Um, nothing with that. Oopsie. Yeah, I can walk upstairs. Big wide swath of stuff outside there. What is that puzzle six? But I'm also inclined to think that it has something to do with some sort of structure, right? For the for the buttons and or switches to be on. Let me look at that pattern one more time here. <sighs> hmm. by four grid. Doesn't seem to have any sort of numeric connotation to it. Like this is at four four, this is at one one, and blah 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 blah, multiply them together or something. No. Doesn't appear that the filled in ones or the blank ones form a letter or a number. It's six versus eight, right? Well, six and eight. Okay, let's roll with that for a bit. Am I near one of them? This is seven, right? I think we're close to eight. Or, oh, we're, okay, eight's on that side. Uh, let's go to six first. Six is the big, big Cosmodrome one looking motherfucker over there. That's the path to the other hidden one, yeah? Yep. Okay. And let's see. What was that? Six was the number of filled in ones. Let's see if I maybe it could be like something in the Maybe there's something in the puzzles themselves. This could be the first time they do that for the Sphinx one. Doesn't really match up to anything grid like or button like, aside from these buttons here and the and box. I cannot do anything else with, so maybe it's something near the puzzle itself? Could get on top of that rock for a bit. So I think I've already, I've already checked if I could go on the rails, and we can't. It just kind of shoves us off, right? Can't do nothing about that. Something maybe visible from Puzzle 6 here? No. Um. Alright. 
Alright, well, then let's go to puzzle 8. Let's see if there's anything there. I imagine there won't be. Because 8 was the number of empty squares, right? And aside from the two, like, non-existent ones. Which could also be a number in of itself, right? <laughs> Let's head on over to 8 before we uh, discard this one. Recoot, what's up? Mind me drinking while I'm walking past you, yeah, right? Oh! Hey, Alright, well, not like we're gonna need it, but I will take that. Ugh. Maybe. <laughs> eh. Eh. I'll reach up your robo arms and take it. All right, fine. We'll approach from this direction instead. Then. There, much easier. Okay. Where were we going? Puzzle eight, right? Um, was it this one? Yes, it was this one. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is all. Yeah, there's a laser. Laser and teleport and whatever, right? Okay. We can't sneak. Can sneak a teleporter out of this one. Uh, let's let's try that. That's really all I need <clears throat> is a box. Oops, and to pick up the damn thing, right? Oh, but I need to be on said box, right? So I need to put the teleport on the box, and then take that. Zerp up there, put that down, and then jump across. And we can... Well, I mean, we can sneak it out. <laughs> we can sneak it out to the main area, which I think we could have already done. Um, well, we can't sneak it out, out. I guess we'll grab the, the box and the teleporter and just kind of be like, yeah, yoink. I suppose that means we could also sneak the laser bit out to the main area, too. Which, hey, you know what? Just for fun. Hey, look. Look, I got all your stupid stupid puzzle bits. Out to where they shouldn't be, probably. Um, but yeah, that doesn't mean nothing. Hmm. Oh, interesting. It doesn't let you teleport into the puzzle. That's... Intriguing. But probably not relevant. Okay. Well. Hmm. Well, we're getting to the end of the night here. And I guess we've spent probably enough time wondering about this. So, sure. General area for Sphinx puzzle here. Please, Omega Weapon, since you've got some some insight there. Look around Puzzle 8. Okay, so I'm, I'm on the right track, sort of, I guess. Okay. So maybe... Oh, okay. Oh! Okay. Yep, alright. So I had the parts. <laughs> I had the parts from Disjointed Thoughts. Did not fucking put it together. Okay. Okay. Very good. Alright, what the fuck did this look like? Uh, bloop, 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 bloop. Alright. Um. This one here, right? This one was entirely. Okay. Uh, entirely gone. So now, what's the interpretation here? Is the filled in ones the, the stand tall ones, perhaps? 
Oh, oh, never mind. Those are just straight up missing. Okay. Good. Uh, and it's like this from this side, yeah? It's the top right one's missing, and then the little middle bit is missing. All right. Well, let's do one and invert it if it isn't like that, right? Ah, there we go. Okay. Well, that's a... Okay. Could have just fucking kept looking around and I would have got... Ah, man. <laughs> Son of a bitch. All right, well, thank you. <laughs> thank you for that. Because... Yeah, I... Yeah, I made it more complex than it needed to be, as is tradition. Um, and now where's the actual thing, though? It was over here, right? And it's way over near the tower. Yeah. All right, interesting. Well, what is a prophet, and what is a tyrant? Um. Well, I guess this tech. Are we in the the latter half now? Technically speaking, three, six. Yeah. Okay. So, hitting half two, I suppose, is where they're like, "Yeah, all right. You, you think you know your puzzles, buddy? Well, here, have these." I'm like, "Yeah, I think I got this." No, I don't got it. Good, good play, Palace Principal Two. Good play. Good play. All right. Well, let's uh, let's do the tower. Let's go in the tower. Let's be accosted by. I imagine it's gonna be Pandora this time. I'm gonna predict Pandora being like, "Hey, you little shit, what are you doing? I told you to not do this." I'm like, "You know, fuck you." Not our parent or guardian. Although I guess Pandora did just speak to us in the murder pyramid, so this could be... Okay, it's the Sphinx. Hey, we totally didn't bone up your just previous puzzle. Uh-huh. I go where I want. I don't need fucking Zeus's permission. Tell me where Byron is. Cut to the chase. Well, Pandora had her fuck up, okay? Let us make ours. Um, all right, fine. Let's let's play this a little bit more indirect. How can the trespasser be freed? Only Prometheus can help you. Okay. For he has always favored human we already knew this. That was a waste of a question. Olympus pass into your hands, but he is bound in the heart of the mountain. Break his chains, and he will show you the way. Okay, no new information learned. We were already going to do that, I think, probably. So thanks, Sphinx, for nothing. Uh, blue murder beam. No, red. Red murder beam. I think it's safe to assume that Olympus is the entity's term for the megastructure. Yeah, safe assumption. Like our best chance of rescuing Byron is finding Prometheus and freeing him. Oh, why did I... do you there we go. a weird glowing ghost thing with uh, these entities exist within the mega weird glowing ghost bolt cutters, cutters presumably it's just how they manifest to communicate with us I don't really care what they are for now let's play along yeah bold words there Alcatraz since I'm the one doing all the puzzles Uh, okay, I guess we can just hang our butts out here, right? Until next time, because we're at the end of the night. Hooray! Hooray. Um, cool, cool. Well, we didn't catch up <laughs> to the end of the next section like I wanted to, uh, because those two star ones were very, uh, troublesome. Um... But that's okay. We're at like a, a section break, and that's that's pretty good for dividing shit up, anyways. So that'll do it for tonight. Uh, next stream will be tomorrow night, 7:30 p.m. CST. It'll be Shmup Book Club. We'll have our new Shmup for month of February, uh, which is yet to be determined. 
Um, but then we've also got Karis and uh, Blue Wish Resurrection Plus still sticking around for the two quarterlies. Friday, Saturday, we're off. And then Sunday, 7 p.m. CST, will be long play. For sure, not Spelunky 2. We've already picked out something. Something different. Something new-ish. Uh, so we'll, we'll go with that on Sunday. And then Monday, 7 p.m. CST, uh, will be more of the Talos Principle 2. We'll be back here to solve more puzzles. Get deep and deep deeper into the second half. That should be fun. Alright, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.